Hey guys, what's up? This is Carr with Dove Eye Films, and today we have a special tutorial for y'all on how to create a muzzle flash. So, go ahead and open up After Effects and import all of your footage. as well as uh, the action essentials that we're going to be using today. Okay, what I have here is some footage that I've already edited to give it sort of a post-apocalyptic type scenery uh... something may you may use something like this in a zombie movie or something like that but uh... the reason i decided to do this tutorial is just the quality of muzzle flashes i've seen around youtube is just horrific just people people do not uh, people just post something like a muzzle flash over a, a gun and don't sync it and just don't do any editing with it. And it just looks very poor. So uh, that's why I'm doing this tutorial today. Uh, so first off, you want to find your uh, the muzzle flash that you're going to want to be wanting to use. So I can uh, I'm going to go down here to the straight muzzle flashes because we're doing this from the front today. And something like that looks good. Post that on my footage. All right, now <clears throat> the first thing I'm gonna do is actually track the barrel of the gun. So go layer new null object, and then go uh, view or window, and click tracker, and then just click on your footage. Go track motion, and we're just gonna track this real quick. Okay. Once that done, once that's done, uh, apply that to no one. Now that we have that tracking, we can go in here to our muzzle flash, and we can parent that to no one, and position it accordingly. Okay, now the first thing you want to do always is that uh, muzzle flashes aren't really uh, in movies, more or less. They're not really yellowy. They're more whitish. So to change this, we're going to go to uh, color correction. We're going to go to hue and saturation. And we're just going to uh, bring down the saturation a little bit and the lightness a little bit. Or the light, or lightness up. So it looks more like that. But we don't want to lose too much yellow. We want to still keep a little bit of yellow and orange. So now that we have that, we're going to go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and CC Vector Blur. And also uh, Blur and Sharpen, uh, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to bump this Gaussian Blur up to about 4. And then with the Vector Blur, just kind of just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. Then a little bit more of the Gaussian Blur. Let's go about 4.5. And that's looking good. And then, just so we keep everything organized, we're going to... Uh, Unexpand all those. Now, if we follow this footage, it's uh, it it's following the shot really well. But the thing about it is, is uh, muzzle flashes happen every other uh, firing that you do with a gun, 
And uh, if you actually go to this footage, I think that the gun I used actually gave off a noise. And we can actually follow that as we're making the muzzle flashes. And you can't really distinctively show it doesn't really distinctively show it but if you do have a special gun that actually makes loud noises or uh, a special airsoft gun that actually makes a lot of uh, makes that type of uh, air burst that'll help you a lot in post uh, it'll show you where to put the uh, the muzzle flashes but uh, scrubbing through then let's see we need another one right there so we can just uh, duplicate this and move it down a little bit Duplicate that again. Okay. Now that we have all that done, now we're going to want to add our smoke. So let's go to our smoke layer. Oh. And I'm not actually liking any of the smoke, so let's do this. Let's import uh, under Action Essentials. Let's go ahead and import. Um, let's go with Atmosphere instead, if I can find it. Here we go. Import the Atmosphere footage. That's looking good. Atmosphere 5. Put that right there. And then double click on the ellipse tool right here. And feather it accordingly. And then remember to put that behind the muzzle flashes. And to parent it to null 1 as well. And then we're going to drop the opacity to zero right here. And then after the muzzle flash disappears, bump it up to 100. And then right in the middle of that, drop it back down to zero. And then right after it finishes, drop it back up to 100. And then go to Effect, Color Correction, hue and saturation again and just to give it a little bit um, a more distinctive look we're going to uh, make it a little bit brighter That's looking good. Now, we're almost done with this. All we really have to do is uh, what I like to do in my videos. Uh, I don't, I don't know if y'all will like this or not, but what I do is I actually uh, put a, I go new adjustment layer, and I, I put a distortion around the area that's. Uh, kind of around this, the the muzzle flash, so I always do an effect, uh, an adjustment layer, and do color correction, and just do, well not color correction, uh, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur, and bump up the Gaussian blur a little bit. Let's say about 12, and then I take the elliptical marquee tool. 
and again just the area around the gun and then feather it and just follow the muzzle flashes again like we did with the smoke so a hundred right here then when you don't see it go zero So we have that. And that's not looking too great. So let me pull back some of the muzzle flashes to space them out a little bit. And I think that uh, the muzzle flash, flash provided with Video Copilot, actually, uh, it muzzle flashes are really only supposed to last for about uh, one frame, but... For some of these in Video Copilot, they last for two, which sometimes it just, it'll throw you off and it'll make, make it look a little weird. So just go to uh, the opacity and just drop it down on the second frame, or you can cut it on the second frame. It's just up to you. For some reason, my computer's being stupid. There we go. We can preview that out. Okay, so we're almost done with this. There's just a few things we need to do. First off, go to New, New Solid, and then sample a color from the muzzle flash. I'm thinking maybe a yellowish, whitish type color. And then I'm not really liking that, so I'm going to just delete that and go new, new solid. And I'm going to sample maybe just a little bit of a lighter white yellow mix color. Okay. And then we're going to click the eye tool and so we can just get rid of that for a minute. And we're going to mask around the area which we think the light's going to be uh, emitting onto our subject from the muzzle flash. I'm thinking around my watch and around my arms a little bit and a little bit on my face. So I'm going to mask that out real quick. Alright, and once we're done with that, we can just tweak it just a little bit more just make sure that we got everything correct and then go over here and uh, show it again and drop down to feather it and just feather it just a little bit All right. and now place it above the distortion area that we've created with our uh, Gaussian blur layer and um, it's it's looking a little too yellow so maybe go to uh, the brightness and fix the brightness a little bit to change it up I'll just a tad bit and then now we can mess around with the modes a little bit and maybe a soft light mode that's looking pretty good let's see what else we can see uh, overlay no hard light no 
So yeah, so soft light will do. And I'm actually thinking that the the opacity of this is a little too harsh. So maybe lower down the opacity as well as make sure that the muzzle flash light that's emitting your subject is timed correctly with uh, your muzzle flash. So uh, just make sure that er when your mu muzzle flash shows, it's at a 100%, and then when it's not there anymore, drop it back down to 100%, uh, to 0%. And that should do it. And again, here's what we end up with. Alright, this has been Carr with Dove Eye Films, and thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you.